All right, welcome back to Switch to Linux. We are going to do a panel discussion on a complete list of alternatives to all Google products. I'm going to probably say uh, this is from TechSpot. This is probably not going to be complete, complete, because I noticed some things that uh, are not in there uh, as well. The, this actually came out in October, um, but I just encountered this article. So um, I think the, we're going to do this in categories. The first is Google search alternatives. Of course, Google started as a search company. Um, they're listing start page first, and this was right before start page uh, announced that they were being sold to System One, a data analytics and ad company. So, uh, edit. <coughs> and uh, so, I don't know. Um, I've switched most of my stuff off of start page. Um, what are you guys using for your search engines these days? I use DuckDuckGo. Okay. DuckDuckGo. We, we got a quacker. We got another quacker. DuckDuckGo. Uh, quacker. Are you a quacker uh, too? DuckDuckGo and start page. DuckDuckGo and start page. And I, I'm doing much the same. I'm DuckDuckGo and start page. I have found that DuckDuckGo does not give me all of the good results that I need, but nope. I have converted most of my things to DuckDuckGo. So I, use... I will say if, if mm -hmm. you aren't getting the answers you want, I still will occasionally go and do a proper Google search. Yeah. So when I set up a new web browser, I make sure there's three, only three search engines available. Start, uh, DuckDuckGo, start page, and Google. And so the default's always going to be DuckDuckGo at this point. And then if that doesn't work, then I'll drop to start page. If that doesn't work, then I'll drop to uh, drop to Google. And that I way, found, yep, good. Yeah. I found sometimes with DuckDuckGo, if you're not finding what you're looking for, if you change the wording in your search a little bit, it'll pop. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's, uh, I believe DuckDuckGo is, uh, pulls, does it pull data from Bing, I believe, at this point? It's Bing Yahoo. Bing it's and Yahoo. Bing okay. Yahoo. Yahoo. All right. Anyway. Uh, and of course, start page pulls from Google, which is why start page actually is a better search engine. I'm just a little leery about it now that it's being owned by this data analytics company and they're keeping all this stuff private. Wait, we're a privacy company. We're keeping things private. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> we trust you. Um, uh, CRX. Anybody use CRX before? Never heard of it. Heard of I've it. Heard never of used it. it. I've never used it. Hmm. Yeah, that's the one I tested on a stream once. Like someone says, oh, I'll test it out. And it just searched for something very innocuous and it was showing me inappropriate pictures. So I actually, only time I ever deleted a stream. <laughs> so, um, but there's some things, um, there's some things you can do. Like you can actually get the code and deploy a version and you can do filters and stuff. Uh, Meta, is it Meta? Yeah, Meta? Um, yep, Todd Quinn. Um, yeah, another one that I've seen, this is based on Cyrix, but um, EOS, the Android ROM that, I, mm -hmm. that uh, I told you to look into, they have a, they have cloud services too. Like they have a fork of NextCloud and they also have a fork of Cyrix called Spot. I don't know if it's any hmm. better. Hmm. Okay, interesting. There is, a, um, there is a version of it that's deployed. I'll see if I can find the link. Yeah. Um, Quant is the only other one. That, well, actually, I've looked at Ecosia too. I've, uh, Quant is another one as well. This is a privacy search engine. This is another one recommended by privacytools.io. Um, anybody used Quant before? I've heard of it. I've never used it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And Nicola, do you have any comments on any of these particular start uh, search engines one way or the other? Actually not, but what I'm thinking about is that uh, uh, is who of you doing search exclusively through the Tor browser? Yeah, the Tor browser defaults to DuckDuckGo, I think is their yeah. default, right? Um, yeah, but most important is that when you do the search, the search mm -hmm. company should not know who you are. Correct. And the, no, and the only protection that you may get is actually so that the client doesn't give out unnecessary information, Correct. and that's the yeah. Tor browser. And I guess we should do the search in Tor and then copy and paste the results somewhere else. Okay. All right. So, yeah, there's an option. Um, uh, look at what you're looking for in a Tor browser. So, And that's something you can do. Uh, any operating system, including Android now, you can actually get the Tor browser bundle. And uh, using the Tor browser bundle, you can do your search through that. And that's much better. Because what if DuckDuckGo really is the secret NSA backdoor? They're collecting everything. We just don't know it yet. <laughs> you know? Um, and some people will go as far as to say that's the case because they're an American company or whatever else. Are you? Um, but are, the tour is going to get around that. Yeah, Dan, go ahead. Are you, gonna, are you saying don't put all your searches in, the, in one basket? <laughs> yeah, yeah that, that would be a giant duck egg. 
Yeah. <laughs> <Sing for that. laughs> yes, very much. So, uh, there's, yeah, go ahead. So, Tom, there, I just sent you a link to for Spot, and there is a um, safe search option. It seems like it's doing a pretty good, good job filtering. Okay. So, and so the search, safe it search looks, is... It looks like Cirex with a different UI. Oh, really? a Are you going to... No, I'm not logging into Google for, to, for that. Anyway. <laughs> okay. Um, so, yeah. So, there's... And what was that one? Let's see. Let me just read that. I'll go ahead and just read that. So, it's spot.ecloud.global is the one uh, Quint just looked up. So, you can look that up as well. Uh, Mojik. Never heard of that one. Uh, based on the UK... Um, that, like, that's like the most unprivate company in the, you know, in the civilized world. <laughs> um, is it Yacy? Never heard of that one. Givero? Never heard of that one. And then Ecosia, I've heard of that one. They're supposed to be, I, I've never heard of them specifically as a privacy based. They're just in a, a something, an addition. So these aren't necessarily privacy honoring things. These are just alternatives to something to keep in mind as we look at this list. So Kosia is, uh, their whole thing is that if every time you plant, you search, we'll plant trees. I, I have a feeling that's not going to be the case. <laughs> I mean, let's all just get in there and search five things tonight, guys. And we have 68 people watching right now. And if we all go and search five things 68 people, they got to plant several thousand trees just on tonight alone. So, <laughs> uh, Vince says dog pile. So, we have dog pile as an option as well. So, there are some alternatives to search engines that are not Google services. Any final thoughts on search engines before we jump to another one? This is just not a very easy thing uh, to make a privacy search engine. Mm -hmm. And I guess that's the one position where we may think that we need a utility or something like, you know, decentralized uh, system where many players can help each other. Because actually tr uh, crawling the, the web is not a simple task. So if there are, say, many players helping each other, that would be something nice. Mm -hmm. But you know, as a developer, I cannot give you a simple answer uh, for, and to tell you that here's sure nobody looks at it. And by the way, we somehow get the money to run the business. So the question yeah. is, how do you get money for that? Yes. Yeah. And it's not trivial. Yeah. So like DuckDuckGo, of course, they run Google Ads, but it's possible to run Google Ads where it's not collecting a lot of data. Uh, in you fact, if you want to run ads that are going to be in, in a GDPR country, you have to set, run the ads that way. So there's things you can do. Anyway, You can turn ads off on DuckDuckGo if you go into the settings. Mm -hmm. If you go to like the menu, like the um, menu icon on the, t on the top, and then you go into settings, you can turn ads off. Mm -hmm. But I want them to make money so that they stay in business. <laughs> Yes. I would yeah. just say that you can, you can do that if you want to. Yeah, I, I like I don't mind when they have ads. The reason I actually moved I moved my my um, lineage phone to DuckDuckGo a long time ago, and the reason I did that is because StarPage started to do a thing. It, it was actually right at the beginning of the year, so right when they first got involved in this System One deal that they weren't telling anybody about. Right about that point in time, they pushed out the new design and their new design would delay the ad. So you'd get a thing out, like a list of search results. And you'd be like, oh, I want this one. And right when you click it, it'd land you run an ad. And they would push an ad right to it. And it would cause to, and that just, that just pissed me off to no end. So I just, I dropped start, start page on my phone because of that. I could get around that a little bit easier on the desktop. So I'd never change it from that. But like, I don't mind them showing ads. I just don't want them to be deceptive where they're forcing me to click an ad when I'm meaning to click another link. And I find that completely inappropriate. So, yeah, I'm, I'm with you. I want them to make the money. I don't mind if they're displaying the ads. I just want to I want to click on the ad willingly, not because they've thrown it in the place where I'm right about to click. Um, so that's that's that. All right. Um, we'll go ahead and move on to the next one here in a minute. 